What is up my beautiful people? I hope you're having a wonderful day. And today's video, we are going to take a look at an app from Samsung. Now, this collection app hasn't been made publicly available in China or global, but it's still in development. You can actually use it and install on one US 6 to 8, but your experience may vary as I'm using my Galaxy S24 FE running one US 7, for example, but it's not completely stable on this and it doesn't even work that good on my Galaxy S24 Ultra with one US 8. So if you're watching this in future, I hope it has been released completely. But if you just want to check the change log, Galaxy Techie who actually figured this out did grab a screenshot from Galaxy Store. I don't know how he managed it, but here is what it says. Smart Collection, a core tool of efficient management and cross-application operations. Now, there is a bunch of stuff listed for it. Basically, it's a hub for your text, such as addresses, schedules, images, including screenshots, photos, documents, such as PDF spreadsheets. You can use it as your personal clipboard. You can just drag and drop things right out there. And it even has AI functions such as, for example, drag a product image to get the price and comparisons across the entire network. Then again, drag a math problem formula and the AI will provide a detailed solution to the steps, which is again amazing. That's what Samsung's whole goal is with the Galaxy AI, but it's not working completely as of yet. Even if you go here, there is a bunch of stuff like favorites can be dragged and used again. Then again, identify schedules. So if you add a screenshot of your flight, it will automatically grab all the details and add it to your reminder or now brief. That would be helpful. So let's just take a look. First of all, we'll begin with installing the actual app. Just like that. Pretty quick. Now, if you just go to the home screen, there will be nothing. So if you just go to the settings app, scroll down to advanced. On the top, you will have collection. If you have S Pen, it will be merged with that. So just go to collection, enable the shortcut and permissions. It will be automatically granted as it's a system app. Pretty much just normal stuff. Can't do much right over here. It's a Chinese app. As you can see, the latest version has been installed. And just going through the app now, here's how the launching screen looks. Clip and collect text, images, websites and more. Then use AI to analyze and organize your collection into an easy to search. Well, it's not just easy to search a bunch of stuff, to be honest. So just allow it and it will be almost completely blank. If you just go to the settings, it will again be the same stuff. So the most useful feature of it will be drag and drop, which is currently kind of broken. But let's just enable it by going to the quick setting panel. Go to edit. You will have a new toggle called intelligent drag and drop. Just add it quickly go to it and then you will have option for supported apps here is all the supported apps it won't tell you what else it supports like even chat gpt but for the chinese version it will show you services in sidebar which you can download as you can see bunch of chinese stuff but it also supports a lot of global stuff too from google and other ai companies but there you have the sidebar position left and right and this sidebar is actually meant to be running constantly everywhere but for now it only works inside the app so for example if i just screenshot something and if i just try to drag it let's just try that again it's so weird one easiest way would be just sharing you are supposed to have a sidebar right over here for the intelligent collection but as you can see nothing's working so let's just go to a website maybe ethos website if I just quickly share the image, you will have a collection option right over there. Just sending to it will have a nice little pop-up. You can view it directly from there or go to the app. As you can see, I have an image from Chrome, just like it. Let's just add something else. Maybe if I just add a text from over here, maybe a quick little data about the scooter. Let's just grab it. And by functionality, you should be actually just able to hold it and drag and drop, but not working right now. So let's just hold it again. Then again, share collections. Let's just view it. As you can see, it has saved the web page and the data. You also have the option for read aloud. You do need Samsung's language model for that. But going back, as you can see, it even has categories wherever you have imported the data from, maybe the screenshot, my files, PDFs, everything. 
But if you just hold on the image, that's the sidebar. This is what you are supposed to get everywhere throughout the phone. This is not the part of edge panel. This sidebar only appears if you have something for drag and drop. So you can directly drop it to collection and you just add it again. Add to a new node, add a reminder, drawing assist and Gemini. So if you have chat GPT, you can also share it directly to it. I can ask what's this and it will tell me. But instead of coming over here, if you have one, you are it, you can directly get the data right over there through Galaxy AI via the summarize option. But for now, it's broken. And that's pretty much it for the brand new app called Collection from Samsung. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe down there for more videos like this. And see you guys in the next one.